channel. I'm in Ditchling, driving up. There's a car park south of my destination, which is going to be Ditchling Beacon. Now, it's about a two mile tab. <laughs> it's about a two mile walk. So, I'll go that way. Hang on a sec. No, no, continue straight ahead. So it's about a two mile walk to Ditchling Beacon, which is where I'm going to pitch up for the night. It's so weird, as soon as, it's like a microclimate. I don't know how well you can see me, it's pretty dark. As soon as I climbed up into the, into the hill section, just the wind and the rain just kind of took over. So, okay, this is getting really dark now. I left London pretty late, unfortunately. So it's about 7.30 p.m. ish. Um, so the light's fading a little bit. Dark's due about quarter past nine is, is sunset. So yeah, should be able to get through this walk in about half an hour, I reckon, with my long legs. And then I'll pitch up the tent. I'm super excited. It's the first trip out in a while. And actually, I was expecting to see swathes of tents because it's the first trip. It was the first night that we're allowed to stay out in England. However, I reckon the weather might keep a few people away, so... so I'll bring you back when I'm nearer to the destination. Visibility is poor on this one. Look how, look how terrifying is this? Look. I don't know how well that comes out, but it's just... It's like stars in your eyes, it's just mist at the end. I'll bring you back in a minute. Some livestock. There are technically three routes to the Beacon Hill. So one, one goes straight through the forest, which is the route that I'm taking. It's all forest at the moment. There's a field over there, and that's a field. So it's more open. So there's that route, which is like two minutes that way. And then there's a, you can't see it. There's a road there, quite, get the odd car every now and then. So three routes, I think this is the better. The trees are providing a bit of cover. Who cares? We're gonna get wet. Sort of was raining a little bit, stopped now. Took a wrong turn, that was not good. Extended trip. Back on track, I think. It's fine, we got loads of light left. He says. <laughs> poor, visibili uh, poor visibility and signage has led me to Blame something. If you've got bad orienteering skills, just blame someone else. Blame something else, not someone else. All right, we're back on track. Should be there soon. I'm gonna get all soppy now and just say it's so nice to be out, even when it looks like this. This is brutal. The lack of fitness is telling. Sorry about the wind. It's not even that steep. It's a good sign. We've arrived at the beacon, pretty much. I'm expecting some kind of tree point. Okay, so I've arrived at Ditchling Beacon Car Park. It's pretty underwhelming. I mean, it's beautiful, beautiful. If I can see, there's just a car park here. I'm gonna find a place to pitch. We're gonna head back on myself now. I think I saw some spots which one to expose so I'll bring you back when I've got the tent up. All right it's pitched, she's pitched. It took a lot longer than I thought. The, the wind really didn't help. It's crazy how it's the middle of summer, we're in July and it's so windy. The tent is quite damp inside and there she is, I'm gonna get inside. All right, so we're in, we're in. There's pretty much a storm, again. The last time I camped, there was a storm, and now we're in a storm. It's quite windy, I think it's about 40 kilometer 
an hour winds just below according to the weather so it's not too bad it's just after 10 o'clock it took ages to pitch my tent because it was so windy and i've not pitched it for a while i took the msr hub at nx thankfully i took the helm two pegs because this is a lightweight tent it weighs about 1.1 kilograms probably not the best tent to bring in a storm however i've got confidence in it it survived me well on the coast to coast albeit the weather wasn't as bad as this so yeah so use the stakes on the helm two and 12 stakes all the guy lines are pegged out i'm gonna have to get up and check them it's 10 o'clock now i'm gonna start i'm gonna make some food this has all happened a little bit later than i would have thought but it's good to be here i don't think the wind's getting any worse but it doesn't sound great so we'll see how we go um fully pegged out safe as i said i'm gonna go out and check the guy lines but first i'm gonna have some food set my bed up and all that stuff it's just taking me so long and as i said it's just after 10 so get something warm in my stomach i'm i'm pretty much warm i've used some wet wipes and just wipe myself down which is just really nice because it was it was quite hot getting here and then the rain came and it started getting cold when i was trying to peg the tent out because i was sort of standing still more or less so anyway i'm gonna start waffling on i've got a couple of beers or i've got one beer and i got another i've got two drinks so i'm gonna have a bit of food probably have one of those and i'll bring you back in a bit i just need to get myself set up because that was absolutely insane i really hope i don't have to abandon this one like last time i don't think the weather's gonna get too much worse it's, i think it's gonna rain again at 2 or 3 a.m so fingers crossed the head the tent i really hope the tent holds up but i'm sure it will i'm sure it will it's good quality perhaps the helm 2 would have been the better one to bring tonight but it's good i think it'll be okay i think we're good anyway i'll bring you back in a bit Fingers crossed. First on the menu, I've got one of these decathlon. Rice and chicken curry. So it's 300 milliliters of hot water. Boil the water and then put it in the pouch and then leave it for six minutes. And then we're good to eat. Shout out to my friend Ian who, I'll post a link to his Instagram below. So he made this, I showed it in one of my other videos. This is the APA. Right, that was nice, had some food and I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of this beer. And I'm gonna get some rest. So I'll see you, all things being well, on the morrow. I slept for an hour. G2 weather conditions. But I feel okay. I'm gonna make some breakfast. It was toasty, I was warm. I worked out there were six layers in between me and and the ground, I've got the, obviously the inner. I put some Tyvek underneath that and then I've got some silver reflecting that. I've got my Thermarest Neo Air, my sleeping bag, and then finally my clothes. So I was really toasty. Tyvek would normally go outside, but it's just so windy that I just didn't have, wasn't able to do it last night. So. Hey, this this weather's crazy, but you know what? For those who say that MSR tents don't hold up in the in the wind, this has stayed rigid as anything all night long, and I'm really really proud of it. It's it's been really really good. Um, it was I made sure it was guyed out properly. I've got 12 pegs on it, and they're actually 
two each side and four guy lines so some of them are double pegged and it's held really firm I'm just taking it down inner first because it's raining outside and it's just easier but yes yeah, it's, it's quite quite a large space if you knew the weather was going to be good you could potentially use this without the inner just because it's just the weather's so bad you can't really see anything so yeah guys I'm really sorry if uh, if you couldn't see much in this video there wasn't a huge amount of filming outdoors just because it was the weather's just uh, have a look have a look it's um it's pretty shocking and you can't it's cleared up a little bit today but you can't see much in terms of views from from my tent earlier or or definitely now so yeah sorry I couldn't provide that too much that, that too much footage and but I really really enjoyed this trip. It's the first time out since February when the February or March during Storm Kira when the weather conditions were pretty similar. Strangely enough, even though now we're in, in July and it's, it's kind of like this. But it was warm enough and I really enjoyed it. I just it was it was lovely last night just having a couple of drinks, chilling out, a bit of exercise, so thoroughly enjoyable. Things I learned on this one then. Never turn your back on Mother Nature, as in always try and anticipate. So I wasn't expecting the rain. I didn't bring a waterproof jacket. I don't really have one that works. You might have seen it on a couple of my other videos. But they're not great, to be honest. And this guy's just flashing his lights away. They're, yeah, they're not great. So I, I ordered one from Blacks. And guys, comments below. If any of you have ordered from Blacks or... No, it wasn't Blacks. It was the other one, Ultimate Outdoors. There are three millets, Blacks and Ultimate Outdoors, which are the same group of companies. So I ordered from Ultimate Outdoors and it, it was like a week and a half ago and it's still not arrived. And I knew that would happen. It's just, they I ordered from Blacks before and they took a couple of weeks just because of the the, the virus issue. So I ordered a, a rainproof, a, a decent, uh, I think it's the North Face Quest rainproof jacket and I was hoping it would arrive because I knew the weather was going to be bad, but unfortunately not. So got a little bit wet. So long, long and short of it is I wasn't anticipating it to be this bad and it was as soon as I got kind of above sort of th at this at this height the mist came in yesterday and then as soon as I got on the beacon the wind was crazy and, and just wasn't prepared for it in so much as you know I couldn't have been more prepared other than having a rainproof jacket really I had everything else was fine but um, I guess my point is I always try and think the worst case in terms of the weather is what I've learned from this and then like sort of mentally you can kind of prepare for it a bit as well I think I got here too late and I was sitting on my tent for a long time and it was nearly dark and then but I mean none of that didn't spoil the trip at all in, in, in a way that was actually a better way of doing it because it wasn't like it was a great day where I could do lots of shooting so anyway rambling on so this is a this is gonna be a really long video but you guys thanks so much for watching thanks for all the subscribers I've got nearly a thousand subscribers now so please do subscribe if you're new around here it really really helps to support the channel Watching the channel is really helpful as well, but subscribing is like the extra bonus and if you can hit the like button as well It helps to promote the, the content and the channel as well Comment share like and subscribe. I'm saying that because I'm a small channel and it's important for me to, to kind of get that message out there. So uh, Sorry, I, I badger on about it. I'll see you on the next video everyone. Take care. Look after yourselves and have a great have a great week ahead depending on when I release this. Cheers. Bye.